we got to get the stuttering John. Yes, yes, we do. Because there's a, been a lot going on with old SJ lately. And first, can I say about we talked about Kevin Brennan last week, mm-hmm. and I guess someone told me I I don't know if this is true, but someone said that like Kevin responded to a super chat. Someone said send Blind Mike the link, and Kevin was like Mike refuses to come on which is weird because i've never interacted with him in my life and then kevin was like oh yeah how much money does blind mike make how's he doing does he sell out live shows and i looked at his patreon numbers and yes he does have one more patron for every year that he's been in the business longer than me than we do (laughs) so he's really i mean just bludgeoning our brains in but I would say, Kevin, this is why I'm making fun of you, because you're bringing yourself down to my level. You've been in comedy longer than I've been alive. <laughs> you have stories from an, a year that I wasn't born in, in comedy. And you're like, hey, I'm more successful than Blind Mike. Oh, what a badge, Kevin. <laughs> you should really be proud of that and pat yourself on the back. Those are the victory laps you should be taking, you out of touch fucking retard. You moron. You're a blithering idiot. And that's your great comeback is like, I'm more successful than Blind Mike. Kind of, but barely. I don't know why. That's my point. We're in the same world and we shouldn't be. So that was exactly like I said on the last show is he's going to be like, how much money is he making? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Um, probably less than you. I would also hope so because you have a wife and kids. (laughs) And I'm 30 years younger than you. I would hope you're doing a little better than me. And good for you, buddy. You are. <laughs> Congrats. Um, Not for long, but. Yeah, it's slowly dwindling, unfortunately. That's what I hate about all those guys is like the bragging and the, the dick measuring about how many super chats they're getting. Like, like I always say, these people don't owe me. I heard Stuttering John the other day like, come on, guys, step up with the super. Ch- what's going on with the $2 super chats? <laughs> Imagine thinking these people owe you money. Anything. Anything. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like the idea that they've gone to anything, that they've fucking bought a shirt or that they subscribe to the Patreon or whatever, warms my heart. And it should theirs. The idea that you're like, come on, guys, make with the dough. <laughs> <laughs> it's so egotistical. It's insane to me. But Stuttering John's had an interesting couple of days. And I woke up to a few messages from Hackride and, and several others, which is re- that means something happened. When I wake up to multiple like tweets and messages saying you're gonna have to talk about Stuttering John, that's rare that it makes it down to me. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it usually like I'm sure every time John speaks, Carl gets a message. Right. But if it's made its way down to me, where people are like, you're gonna have to check this out. <laughs> I can tell something happened. Right. So. John did a four hour, four and a half hour live stream last night with our buddy, Joey C. Great guy. Great guy. And DG, who is just a complete loser. (laughs) Like a a podcast negative. Oh, you're one of these? You're Hack Ride? I don't know. (laughs) Team Hack Ride for this? I don't remember. Is DG the guy we tried to find his Twitter last episode? Yeah, yeah. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just like an absolute like podcasting negative like he takes away from every show that he's on somehow and he's on with john so it's even more impressive (laughs) so excuse me they did a four and a half hour live stream last night and john's obliterated (laughs) and it starts weird where like i think john's doing a bit but he's he's pretending like he doesn't know he was on or something and then he just gets progressively more drunk and drunk and drunk throughout the four and a half hours I don't have any clips from that because I was like, I actually didn't even think it was funny. I was like, there's just nothing here. It's just a man who has a real fucking problem. Like I like John when he's being ridiculous. That was just watching DG. And here's the thing. It was the classic like bully archetypes where it's the big meathead moron John, his yes man sidekick DG, and the guy they push around, Joey C, where Stuttering John is literally calling Joey C retarded. (laughs) 
this is this like progressive guy, no name calling, tries to get Carl's shit taken down because of slurs and all this stuff. And yet he's calling Joey retarded and making Joey make like retard noises. And Joey starts like doing a voice like, is this appeasing you, John? And all it reminded me of is, uh, do you ever see the Will Ferrell episodes of The Office? Yes. <clears throat> Where uh, Andy makes him laugh by like spilling something on himself? Yes. And then later in the episode, Will Ferrell's like, hey, funny guy, make me laugh. And Andy tries to tell a joke. He's like, no, no, no. And Andy's like, all right. And he like spills coffee on himself, <laughs> whacks his head on the table. And then it just cuts to Andy saying, I guess this is my life now. And that's what I thought when I was watching our buddy Joey C be demeaned by this asshole John, like just insulting him. And I think Joey would say like, oh, we're friends or whatever. And I would tell you, that's John's not, not a friend to anyone. He's not your friend. Don't do that any anymore. The yeah. second you say, Joey, and, and hey, you're a grown man. Do, do whatever you like. I'm not telling you what to do. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm misreading the situation. But my message would be that the second you do something John doesn't like, Bye bye friendship. He'll disown you in a heartbeat. So don't do anything that's going to humiliate you for John because he will never pay that back. Right. That is absolutely correct. Uh, real quick before we get too far away, uh, okay. Nick West, five bucks. Daff Fan and Tom Myers should have spawned a new series called Why Aren't You Laughing? Also, Mike's Gay, LOL. Whoa, untrue. Untrue. I got uh, rid of that. This is how not gay I am. I got rid of that wood paneling co host I'm usually tied down to. That's right. That's right. That's how straight I am. He's off in Detroit doing God knows what. <laughs> and I'm straight as hell. Um, Cameo Blind Mike, five bucks. Always on when I'm working. Keep doing God's work. I'll watch later. Well, what the hell can we do? We're doing nights. We're doing weekends. What more do you want from us? One of these times needs to work for you. <laughs> <laughs> it has to. <laughs> no, Cameo uh, Blind Mike's a longtime supporter. Thank you, yes, sir. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Chris Bueller, 40 bucks. Oh, okay. thank you, buddy. <laughs> okay, we get it. You want us to step up. <laughs> No, no, and what I'm saying is they don't owe me anything. <laughs> I mean, really, guys, you don't have to open your wallets and give us a dime. So the only reason I'm playing this clip, if any other human on the planet uttered this line, I would say, oh, they're joking. Correct. I don't think he is. It's impossible to believe he's not. But I think so little of him. <laughs> I, I have to side on the joke. He has to be, to, right? I have to decide on this. Let's play it and, uh, you know, hey, see what the, we see report, what the, you decide. Yeah, we'll see what the chat says. Is this or is this not real? It's got to be a joke. I don't want to lead the, the witnesses, but. You're right. <laughs> but kids were off limits. Nah, but you guys will stoop. doesn't matter. You don't know her name and you'll never know. I'll never say Donna's name. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to. Anyway. But anyway, I have the screenshot. Now, before you vote, I'll give you my theory. I don't believe it's John making a joke because he didn't laugh after it. <laughs> Every right. time he does something, quote, hilarious, <laughs> <laughs> he he's rolling on the floor. Right. Usually, if he did that, he would usually like la like leap into hysterics. <laughs> I don't think he does bits like that. That's very true. So I don't know. It could be. I saw these on Dabblers Anonymous. The co I, I checked all the comments to be like, is anyone believing this? And people were. So I don't know. You guys, you tell me. I've been fooled before. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not going to. Anyway. But anyway, I have the screenshot. I feel See, like he moves on. Like, it doesn't seem like he's joking. Uh, I don't know. I think he's joking. And if you might be. There's, there's not, an, again, there's not another human on the planet that could deliver that line like that. That I wouldn't think they were joking, but I'll never say Donna's name. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not gonna. Anyway, I have to go. <laughs> but anyway, I have the screenshot. I have to but go. He's team so joke. dumb. <laughs> I have to go. Team joke. John should dissect the fact he doesn't analyze himself too often. He should di dissect the fact that anyone's even questioning that that's a joke. <laughs> I know. Because, like I said, any other it doesn't even phase you if someone else says it. But with yeah, John, I, you're like, is he kidding? I I gotta I have to, I have yeah, you're a thousand percent correct on that other thing. The right. fact there is this is like 70 30 joke, I think. He delivers his I know how he delivers his jokes. <laughs> that's not how <laughs> that's not how he does it. 
It was too smooth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. What's the what's the other one? Um, him responding to Dabbler's Anonymous. Oh, actually, can we? Do we have the Carl and Vinny clip that yes, I sent you? Yes, we do. Let's play that real quick, just because I wanted to comment on something specific in this video. So our good friend, Vinny, Vinny Paulino, by the way, go check and out. Carl. Why are you laughing? <laughs> what did I say? You're like, our good friend, Vinny Paulino, and I went, and Carl. Well, I'm not talking about Carl right now. Everyone got to talk about Carl all the time, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> our good friend, Vinny Paulino, was on, why are you laughing, is what I was saying, before Carl's little bitch over here had to rush. <laughs> and Carl, we like Carl, too. That was Carl, right. Carl had me on once when he was listening to the Bills song. <laughs> That's not what I said. I was saying you called Vinny your very good friend. And I was like, and Carl, <laughs> right, guys? Well, I was setting up that Vinny Paulino was on Why are You Laughing? Uh, it'll be out free next week, or you can get it on Patreon now if you want to go check out the Patreon. Um, but Vinny's a good buddy of mine, and he's apparently friends with Stuttering John now. And they're very real friends. They're no, there's no way it's a bit or that it ends up ugly. And so that's what they're talking about here. But Vinny mentioned something very specific that I found really interesting and something that you know needs to be nipped in the bud, I think. So John called you, so he doesn't know that we're doing a show right now or he wouldn't have called you. Can you call him back live nope. on the show? Nope. Why not? Because I don't do that. I want to know what he wanted Head to away, say. Vinny. I'll find out after. I'll yeah, but you, back. Can, you can call me. You don't have to put up his side of the conversation. Just I'm pretty yours. sure I know what he wants. What do you think? I'm not going to get into it on here. Oh. There I think me, one day, me, Vinny, John, and Brendan Schaub are all going to go out for a bottle of suds together. <laughs> How real is their relationship? <laughs> they shit. talk a lot. A ton. Sounds like. Yeah. He got off the phone right up, right before we recorded with him. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. He did. Yeah. He goes, I just got off the phone with John. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so my guess, Vinny's going to allude to something here that John already spoiled. My guess is Vinny's trying to book him at like Comedy at the Carlson or something like have, like actually have John put on a show, not goofing on him, anything like that, like a genuine, you know, return to the stage for John. That's my guess, but we'll hear from the man himself. Being held. Oh yeah. Wait, yeah. did you want this to continue? Yes. Oh, okay. the secrets being held oh, from yeah. the creep off audience. Oh, the secrets being held from everybody. You know, honestly, Carl. Oh, are Carl. people voting for this man who's keeping secrets from us? Is anyone going and voting for Vinny? Because this man is keeping secrets from us. It's kind of fucked up. I'll, I'll, I'll get, let you in on a secret. All right, I'm listening. Shuli texted me the other day, uh huh, and he said to me, "Vinny, are you really talking to John and stuff?" <laughs> oh, Shuli, <laughs> Shuli is. In every crevice. Well, this is what I wanted to talk about. This is what's bugging me, is that Shuli is getting a little too involved. Everywhere. It's a little too much, where last week we had the, or two weeks ago, whatever that was, we had him getting involved with John's photoshops, like mm -hmm. trying to put swastikas in John's photoshops. Now, listen to Shuli trying to horn in on Vinny's phone calls here. He's always up to something. And he was like, that guy, and he said, uh, he said, "Are you recording the conversations?" Really? He oh, asked shoot. me that. Can't you can't do that? And you know what I said? That's a dirty pool. You know what I said? What'd you say? Nothing. Gotta you know why? Because you're John's friend. Because I say nothing <laughs> until it's time to say something. <laughs> well, you are recording. <laughs> I don't know time. what Vinny's got up his sleeve, but <laughs> my point is more. The reason I wanted to play that clip is like, surely stop what you're doing. Knock it off. Also. I, if if John comes across this, I'd be fucking terrified. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like... Well, I wouldn't be, because John's not going to do it. He's going to call the cops in Alabama. <laughs> he might have said some shit. Who knows? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it, you're just giving John ammo by doing that shit. Like, I, I know a lot of people hate Shuli. I like Shuli. He's been nice to me. But with that stuff annoys me when I hear that. Because now it's like you're inserting yourself when you don't need to. John's a blithering moron all on his own. There's plenty of John content to go around. Too much, I would say. A ton. So you don't need to set Vinny up to record the guy when he's not. First of all, it's just a shitty thing to do to anyone, John or otherwise. Right. To record them when they're not know unknowingly. Like, mm -hmm. let's say Vinny went along with that, which luckily he's smart enough not to do. If Vinny leaks audio of John surreptitiously and says, Shuli asked me to do this, do you think that looks good for Shuli? No, not or even. Vinny or anyone? Not no, that's more. terrible. You don't want that. Stop getting so involved. Back off a little bit. 
and then everyone's. I'm not. Going. This is not me defending John, by the way. I still like making fun of John. Let him we do don't it. Need to, we don't need to insert ourselves. Correct. What were you saying? Okay. Talk now. I was saying just observe and report. It's that's Carl. Like, that's Carl's message, and he's never been more right about anything. Correct. Don't, Fuck, don't no. do that. Would never do that. Absolutely I also think not. that's illegal. <laughs> I would never do that, number one. <laughs> that's also true. <laughs> I don't think in New York it is. New York's a one party state, I think. So. Yeah. What? I... Uh oh. What's going to reveal something? Let's go. I'm really hoping for something awesome to come of this. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a good teaser because Ooh. I feel like. How do I put this? It's going to be a live show. A lot of relationships have not ended well for him. All of them. And I feel like maybe one can end well for him. Whoa. <laughs> not end, no. I feel like All right. So, so yeah, I think, I think it is a live show. It would be my guess. That's my guess. One, one last hurrah for John off into the sunset. <laughs> John was threatening today, quitting again. Oh, he's going to then. He's like, what if I went... What if I what, I stopped? I left the dabble verse, which it's weird that he's adopted that phrase. Yeah, it's weird. What if I left the dabble verse? What do you have, Shuli? What do you talk about? <laughs> and he's not wrong. It's <laughs> a great point. So, you know, I would say back off with that stuff. I don't like the tr trying to make stuff happen because John's enough of a goofball on his own. Goofing on him, that's all well and good. But trying to make something out of nothing, trying to create content from John is a, a step too far, I would say. Yeah, I'd say Super Chats is fine because you're legitimately paying him. Oh, super We love Super Chats. Yeah. Who doesn't yeah. love a Super Chat? <laughs> Anyone yeah, watching no. right now, apparently? But, but, yeah, no. <laughs> what a, what a. <laughs> Listen, Kevin's right. He's better than us. He's way better, yeah. He's better than us at that and literally nothing else. <laughs> um, all right, so we have a couple, uh, couple of quick, quick hits to get through here. We have, have we do have the news. one more John. Uh, oh, that's right. I'm sorry. What's that? Uh, him responding to the Dabblers Anonymous is All what right. I don't over. remember this one, so this will be interesting. Yeah, maybe you might remember as soon as, soon as it starts playing. So you goof on me, dudes, pay you. Because without me, you got nothing. Oh, there we go. Not a thing. Danny Wright, thanks for the seven bucks. Hey, John, a guy made a great point about you and Dabblers Anonymous. He said you're a selfish narcissist. What say you? Well, that would be redundant. <laughs> but uh, I, let's see, selfish, hmm? How do you think I'm so selfish? How would you uh, assume that? I'm always very generous. No. Always very generous. Oh, yeah. A no, lot he's a sweet people. guy. <laughs> so that wouldn't make sense. As far as the narcissists go, nah, because narcissists never admit when they're wrong or apologize. Yeah. How is about listing all your great qualities? <laughs> is, is that this a fucking joke? <laughs> is that on the list? <laughs> this is the new, is this a joke in the chat? <laughs> yeah, where he's listing. All, and by the way, they're all wrong. I mean, it's clear lack of self awareness, which is the the true irony. But he's not going to realize that. But does going on a tangent of how great you are qualify as narcissism? I don't know if that. I'm not a doctor. I don't know if it fits. <laughs> and I have done that on numerous occasions on this show. I've admitted I was. You know wrong. what was great today? He started doing this again, where he's like. Narcissists never apologize, and I, I apologize to Chrissy Mayer, and I have no motivation for apologizing. <laughs> and I said, well, your motivation is saying that you apologized once. I can hold that over everybody's heads. Yeah, don't you understand? It's shoving it back in our face that you've apologized once. That's the motivation. But... <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Good times. So, I can't really be considered a narcissist then. Only an idiot who doesn't know the definition of narcissism would say that. That's true. You know what? Now you've hit the nail on the head, finally. Um, real quick, Joey C. in the chat. Fettering uh, John is mine now. He crossed the wrong guy. Whoa! Is that breaking news? Let's go. 
Let's or go. it's just some guy named Joey C. It's his show. <laughs> it's a different guy. <laughs> it, it's either that or someone made their YouTube his show. <laughs> yeah, which is also possible. But it's is that that possible. could be breaking news? Did we turn Joey on Stuttering John? I hope so. He doesn't deserve that shit. No, Joey seems like a, he he reached out to me. He seems nice. I think he it seemed like he flied off the handle a little too easily. But as Hackride said, he's curbed that a little bit. He seems like a regular dude. I like Joey. I do too. But that was when I was watching that. That was like, what the fuck are you doing? You're just insulting this guy. And then John tried to frame it as like, it's just buddies busting balls. You don't know this man, and you're already calling him a fucking retard. Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Exactly. So we got you back, Joey. Uh, it's me. He trashed me today on MLC. Oh, d- oh! did Daddy Kevin come calling and lapdog John did whatever he wanted, licked his nuts for him? Please pay me again. Is that what John did after all this tough guy talk of how much he hates Kevin Brennan and he's done with KB as he calls him? He made up he made up songs about how much he hates Kevin. And yet when Kevin sends the link, old Johnny comes running because he might get a hundred dollars for Pickwick money. That's what right. a fucking loser. What a couple of those two deserve each other. What a couple of losers. Old has-been losers. Well, John's a has-been. Kevin's never done anything, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, he's he's all fired up in the chat right now. Shout-out, Joyce. All right, shout-out, Joyce. Uh, all right. We got a couple quick hits. These are uh, more of WATS-type topics that we've got.